Control Long Range Locator System. The Control Long Range Locator System is one of the new technologies and important features that have been integrated into the device, which enables the user to specify the exact value of the search frequency in millihertz units to search for a specific type of metal or target made of a specific mixture of metals, thus ensuring more accurate results when searching using this system. The user can set multiple values and options related to the search. Device installation. One, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Two, connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Three, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Four, make sure that the lock of the antennas unit is open so that they are movable during use. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start control long range locator system, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After system selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are soil type. Using this option, the user can specify the type of soil in the area in which he wants to search. The available soil types that have been added to this device are Rock Neutral Soil Mixed Soil Metallic Clay Sandy Mineral Chalky, salty. Frequency. The user can manually adjust the search frequency value according to a specific target type using this option. Frequency values range from 250 Hertz to 18,000 Hertz. Use the arrow buttons to change the value and press OK. Note, the user can change the frequency value by 1000 Hz by pressing the up, down arrow buttons. Or 250 Hz by pressing the left, right arrow buttons. Note, Every 1000 Hz is equal to 1 kHz. For example, if the user chooses 5000 Hz, it means 5 kHz. Distance The user can specify the distance to search within the search process. This means that the user can search within a radius of this distance. And this distance starts from 250 to 3000 meters. The distance value can be changed using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Note, the user can change the distance value by 250 for every press by pressing the up-down arrow buttons and by 50 meters by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Depth. It is the value of the maximum depth that the device can search. The depth value can be set by choosing a value from a set of predefined values within the range from 0 to 50 meters. Note, the user can change the depth value by 10 meters by pressing the up-down arrow buttons. and by one meter by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Scan. 
After completing the previous settings, select the scanning tab using the arrow buttons, right and left. Then press the OK button above the Start Scan button. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows and to make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the button board to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the button board in the previous window, the following screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Compass indicates the geographical direction of the device, north, south, east, or west. Antennas indicator. It is a semicircular indicator. The zero in the middle expresses the value of the angle of the inclination of the antennas, according to the direction to the right, or left within a range from zero to 90 degrees to the right, and 90 degrees to the left. Indicator arrow. It is a red indicator that moves according to the angle of inclination of the antennas and indicates the specified value on the semicircular indicator. Alignment tool. It is a color graded indicator from top to bottom and the zero point in the middle of it expresses the angle of inclination of the device from the horizon and the correct values are shown in green. During the scanning process, the antennas will move left and right according to the target being detected. The user should change his direction according to the direction of the antennas. Every movement will appear on the screen to make it easier for the user. The user must only follow the movement of the indicator arrow to get the correct direction. keeping the device in a correct position with respect to the horizon 